Last season, the University of Portland introduced a team chaplaincy program that put Sister Sue Bruno on the bench with the women's basketball team and Father Jerry Ollinger with the men's team. Now, Father Jerry has accepted a new role on campus as Vice President for University Relations. So, in comes Father Dan Parrish. Father Dan joined the team in mid-January, and he has quite the story. He is a UP alum, he's a professor here on the Bluff in the Pamplin School of Business, and he was this close to trying out for the basketball team here at UP when he was a student. Here's more on the new men's basketball team chaplain, Father Dan Parrish. God, our rock and our strength, be with us today as we go back into battle. Prepare these men for the task ahead. Make them as strong as Samson, who crushed the Philistines. Give them the heart of St. George, the dragon slayer. Send your protection to keep them free from injury, and bring us, together as one team, the victory we seek. Bless these pilots, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I've been at Notre Dame for the past 15 years, and last year I had the opportunity to serve as one of the chaplains for the men's basketball team. But this is a special opportunity for me, returning to my alma mater here at the University of Portland. I had always dreamt of being a member of this team, and so now being able to actually fulfill that dream is really special. Fast break for the Pilots, and it's 5-2 Portland. So, of course, I'm pretty new with the team, but uh, the one player that I've hit it off the most with so far would be Xavier Hallinan. Uh, it helps that he sits right next to me on the bench, and as the new guy, I'm asking lots of questions. Uh, Xavier also happens to be one of my advisees in the School of Business. We're always doing this. We're always paying attention to what is going on around us, seeing through the various lenses and frames that make us who we are. Father Dan is my academic advisor, so he's the guy I go to for help registering for classes and questions like that. But then he's also my partner in crime when we complain uh, about the refs and I don't know, kind of cheer, cheer the guys on during the game, and I've gotten to know him pretty well, pretty fast, actually. As far as the official chaplaincy role, uh, it really is to provide another member of the staff that's not explicitly responsible for coaching, but really is there for the well-being of the men. Uh, and that, that goes for, for all the men on the team, both the players and the coaches and the staff. When we were in grade school, one of my best friend's moms would only buy him Christian music. And so at one point, she got him a tape called The Bible Break. And then we got to high school and we took the show on the road. Uh, we won the talent show in, in high school as well and as members of the choir, sometimes we'd be at different events and our choir director would say, all right, Bible Break, and she'd and we would get up on stage and do this little rap. So. It goes like this. Listen, friends, lend an ear, because faith comes by the word you hear. I'm not talking junk, I'm not talking jive, but I got a message that makes you live. If you're red, yellow, black, or white, everybody is a star in Jesus' sight. He loves you so we came into this world to give his love to every boy and girl. He loves you. He loves you. Don't you know that Jesus loves you? 